So you've got leading your own team all figured out. How good are you at managing your boss? Welcome back, and congratulations on taking one more step towards becoming one of the great leaders of tomorrow. A lot of times we get so wrapped up in day-to-day -day problems and leading our own team that we forget how important it is to manage up the chain and build strong relationships with our boss and our boss's boss. Today I'll give you three tips on building those relationships and managing up effectively. And stay tuned to the end because I'm going to give you a link to download our free Leadership Development Plan workbook that will help you set your goals for your career for the next two, five, and ten years and build a plan of action to achieve them. To be effective leaders, we need to do more than just manage our own team effectively and efficiently. We need to build a strong working relationship with our boss, their boss, and so on up the chain. Managing up isn't just about getting our bosses to accept our proposals and solutions. It's about building trust with them and demonstrating that we have the initiative to do what's best for the mission and in the best interest of the organization. When I was a young captain in the Air Force, I remember I was working on a project and I had to go see the wing commander about it. And I had a couple of different options that I was thinking about doing, but wasn't really sure which one to do. And so I went into the wing commander and I said, hey boss, this is kind of what I want to do. What's your preference? And he looked at me and said, Jason, I'm a colonel, you're a captain. You're the project officer, you figure it out. And then he said, listen, I, I don't mean to be you know, mean about this, but I trust you, you know what you're doing, you're the expert on this. Tell me what you think is the best thing to do. And that experience really showed me what managing up was all about. It was about bringing those solutions to the, to the boss or the big boss in this case and saying, listen, this is what I think is the best thing to do. This is why I think that is, what do you think? And then moving forward with the solution instead of just going to the boss and saying, I've got a problem, I don't know how to figure it out. What do you want me to do? Managing up is about bringing those solutions to the boss. And that brings us to our first tip for managing up effectively. Bring solutions, not problems. Anyone can go to the boss and say, boss, I've got a problem. I don't know what to do. What do you want me to do? Real leaders, good effective leaders will go to the boss and say, boss, we've got this problem. I've given it some thought. Here's my preferred solution. Here's a couple of alternatives. Here's what I think we should do. Do you have any objections or do you have a preference? We want to go to the boss with some solutions in mind, not just bring him more problems. The boss already has plenty of problems on his plate. We don't need to bring him more. We want to show that initiative. We want to build that trust. We want to show that we're doing what's in the best interest of the mission, getting the organization's missions done, and in the best interest of the organization and its people. Now that you've got bringing solutions to the boss instead of just problems figured out, tip number two is to not just solve your own problems. Tip number two is to solve your boss's problems. When you're thinking about the things that are going on, when you're thinking about bringing solutions to the boss or going to talk to the boss about a problem and what you're going to do about it, think about the way the boss is going to think about it. Think about the concerns that the boss has across all of the groups he manages, not just yours. Think about the concerns that the boss has from his boss who's putting requirements down on him. If you can solve your boss's problems, especially before they even know you have a problem, bring those solutions to them, you're going to be effectively managing up, solving your boss's problems and doing great things for the organization, and your boss is going to trust you and he's going to see that you have that initiative to do what's best for the mission and do what's right for the organization. Now you may be saying, Jason, I found out what one of the boss's problems was, it was a problem he didn't even know he had, went off, found this great solution to it, brought it to him, and he completely disagreed, he completely shut me down on what I wanted to do. Well, that happens sometimes, and that brings us to tip number three, the one challenge rule. So, to effectively manage up, you don't want to be disagreeing with your boss. You don't want to be arguing with your boss over what the right thing to do is. He's the boss. The boss gets to decide. That's what being the boss is all about. You expect the same privilege from the people that you lead as well, right? When you make a decision, you expect it to be final. So, we have this thing, we call it the one challenge rule. When the boss makes a decision, you get one opportunity to say, boss, I think you're making a mistake, here's why. Lay out your case respectfully, calmly, not emotionally, but lay out your case in a, in a logical and respectful way. Let the boss think on that. The boss may decide, okay, I've changed my mind. The boss may decide to go with his original decision. That's all great. You made your case, you, you took the opportunity, and you tried to do the right thing for the mission of the organization, and the boss will respect that. But once that decision is made, you get that one chance, that one challenge, if the boss decides not to go with your solution, you say, you got it, boss. We're going to go execute the way you want to go do it, and you go do it. So the next time you're getting ready to pitch one of your ideas to your boss or your boss's boss or even further up the chain, think about these three tips before you go into the meeting. Remember, we're trying to build a strong working relationship with our boss and all of their bosses up the chain of command. All of our leaders in our organization we want to build a strong working relationship with. 
And we want to build that trust by showing them that we're focused on what's best for the mission and what's in the best interest of the organization. So try these three tips for managing up next time you go into a meeting with someone higher up in your chain of command, and I guarantee you will build that strong working relationship that you're looking for. If you found this helpful, please like, comment, and share it with a friend or coworker. Click on that link below in the description section. That'll let you download our free leadership development plan workbook and help you set goals for the next two, five, and 10 years of your career and build a plan of action to achieve it. If you have any business or leadership questions, leave them in the comments for us or in email us at info at evilgeniusleadership.com. Evilgeniusleadership.com is also where you can find out about all of our coaching programs. So if you're looking for a little more one-on-one -on -one training to develop your leadership skills, go check it out there, send us an email, and schedule a free consultation with us. Thanks for watching today. I really appreciate it. And remember, the future is out there. Lead the way.